Okay, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, quickly, I just want to shoot this really quick video just to explain uh, some of what Motion IQ does. Um, as, as you see here, right on the screen in front of you, it's just a, a basic uh, kinogram. And this is kind of how view motion, which is you know what, what fuels uh, Motion IQ. Motion IQ is a partnership between Altus and view motion. And this is how, where it all sort of started. So Ryan Talbot, uh, who works in computer vision and AI technology, he's an Australian guy, super duper smart. Uh, he's the CEO and one of the founders of Viewmotion. Well, he's also a track coach. And uh, you know, three or four years ago, he found that he was spending way too much time building kinograms. And if you do that yourself, you know that it does take too much time, right? It's cool. You can learn a lot by you know through the process and by looking at these kinograms. But they do take too much time. And but because he does have this, you know, this background and this experience in this in this sort of technology, he figured that he could probably find a way how to automate this. So, he, he, you know, he went to work and three or four months later, he he developed a way actually to automate the kinogram building process. And it came to the point where, all right, we can do a little bit more than just build kinograms. So he got together with a couple of his uh, colleagues. Uh, who are also these super duper smart tech geeks um, and they just built something that's really really interesting really really cool so this is this is the kinogram that's what it looks like now this is what will be on the pdf part of the product uh, which which in the product has basically three parts to it there's a a downloadable report uh, which is a PDF, which shows a bunch of things. And I'll show you that, which includes this kinogram as well as this kinogram here. Uh, second to that is, or second due to the down, the downloadable PDF report is all the videos. So you've got these cool videos and these cool augmented reality things on these videos. And the third part is all of the raw data. Uh, we found we, we thought it was going to be really important to provide all of the raw data just in case you wanted to look into it and run your own reports and do your own cool things with it. You know, we you know, what we're sharing in our report is what we feel is really interesting to us and we feel is going to be really interesting to most of the people that will want to, you know, look at this product and enjoy this product. But it's not going to be everything for everybody. And so that's why we thought that let's let's make sure that we. Uh, you know, have the possibility for everybody to dig into the raw data themselves and do whatever they want with it. So that's that's available to you as a, a downloadable Excel file. And then you can, you know, as I said, run your own reports. So um, we'll kick off this this little uh, quick video here by looking at some of the AR videos. And then I'll go through, um, you know, the report itself. This will be really brief. It's going to do a lot more than what I just show here. I want to, I, hopefully I can just get this video under five minutes. I don't want to take too much of your time. It's really cool tech. Uh, we've been working on this for a long, long time. We're really excited by it. I uh, hope you guys will be really excited about it too. I think you, I think it's really going to be super beneficial. It's, it's already changing the way that we coach. I'm very confident it's going to change the way you guys coach as well. Okay, this is the back end of the site. This is where uh, the videos and the data will be housed. So you see here, there's an athlete here, and then uh, the latest six videos will be showing. And we'll just press on the first one there. And then this is, this is the video, and you would just upload it here into the, into the site. There it is. And then uh, less than 24 hours later, We'll have you know a few, a few videos that we can look at, and this this isn't quite finished yet. We're still working on some final touches on some of the uh, uh, of what we add on to here, and the, the display it'll look a little bit different. It'll be a little bit cooler, but the videos you'll be able to get a a pretty decent sense for what it is. So that's you know that's the 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 video of just you know, zooming in. So that's that's pretty cool, but nothing nothing super you know, incredible there. We can go onto the video itself and slow it down. Uh, or we can download it and share it with the athletes. We can do whatever we'd like, like with that. The second one here is now the, uh, the digitization. So it, I, I, it automatically adds sort of the lines and then some angles of the major joints. So the ankle, the knee and the hip joint, uh, as well as the, uh, the torso. So it's uh, it's also a little bit cooler now. So now we're starting to get uh, into something that's ah yeah that's that's really interesting. Uh, this one is is one that I really like. This is um, oh, let me just slow it down. I'll go down to a quarter speed. 
And this shows the instantaneous velocity on the graph at the top right. It shows the angles on the top left, um, but it also shows the uh, step lengths uh, of the athletes of the, as they're running past. So this is, this is pretty interesting. Now it's getting, all right, this is kind of cool. The next one is now that same one, except without the angles, but now you've got the full uh, video and not just the uh, not just the digitization on the uh, black screen. And by the way, you can you can make that full screen obviously as well if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, now now we can just we can go frame by frame and so on and so forth as you can on on most players. But what I normally do is just uh, uh, download them and just go from there. So that's that's a few of them. I'll uh, I'll now display a couple of, or I'll show you a couple of the newer ones that we've been working on. Okay, so this next one is kind of neat. So I, I I took the the uh, the angle off, but I, I I really like the video, and I really like the lines on top of the video. So I wanted to see that, and I I also like the step length, but the angle specifically, I actually like looking at those a little bit slower in a little bit more detail. So I just use the kinograms for that. So I wanted to see the instantaneous speed. I wanted to see the step length, but I also wanted to see the shapes that the athletes create over the course of the run. And I want those shapes to be there as the athlete's actually running down. So those stay on the screen as they're going. So now I can, you know, I can get to the end there and I can say, all right, that's really interesting. I can, I can kind of compare shapes across. I can look at the step lengths and see what happened to the shapes to create those step lengths and so on and so forth. And I look at the velocity in the graph. So this is just another, um, you know, really interesting level of analysis, this one. And what is interesting too, I really do like looking at it on the back screen, uh, on the black screen. And this one, we kept the angles up at the top there. Uh, and this is, it leaves the trail of the shapes behind the runner. So this, this for me is, is maybe my favorite one. Uh, step lengths at the bottom, as you see, instantaneous velocity on the top right and the angles. And, and I, I specifically, you know, I myself don't really look at those angles, uh, but I can see how, you know, some, coaches would want to see them. You can let me see a touchdown and I can just sort of, okay, what's the, what does the touchdown angle look like there? And what does the toe off angle look like? And I can compare from step to step or from athlete to athlete. But I honestly don't really dive into the minutia of it in that extent, at least not over the video. I look into the kinograms when I'm looking at the angles, as I said. Um, but this is a really neat video. I really like, I do really do like this one. It's, uh, it's I, I learned a lot just from just from watching this one and then I can see the shapes still there. I can look at the different excursion angles. I can look at the touchdown distance and the toe off distance. I can look at the torso angles and so on and so forth. Yeah, really cool video, this one. So this is just an, a quick sort of example of what the upright report will look like. This will be downloadable via PDF. Um, you can see the big five there on the spider graph on the, on the top left, uh, average velocity, time, step frequency, step length, and contact time. We can see on the sort of the top right there, which is time, average velocity, peak velocity, average force, average rate of force, and stiffness. And then we look at the current run, the average of the last three runs, the, uh, the average all time, the best all time. And then we have a, a section there, the rank in the cohort as a percentile, the rank in the group as a percentile, and the rank in the world as a, a percentile. So the rank in the group might be, let's say it's a soccer team and where you rank in your group, the rank in the cohort, let's say you're a 14 year old uh, and, you're member, and you're a soccer player, then that would be compared with all of the 14 year old soccer players in the database. And then the rank in the world is you compared or the athlete compared against everybody uh, who does that over across the, the entire world. And then the kinograms will be displayed as well on the report. And you see the upright, upright kinograms there. All of the angles are on this bottom right kinogram. And you'll be able to see these. This is just, uh, you know, this is just me doing a screenshot so you can't quite, quite see it as well. But you'll be able to see that really, really uh, closely and cleanly when you do actually look at it on the report. This one here is looking at touchdown distance and toe off distance. And then this one is the color one with the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the angles or the, or the lines on, on, over the top of the athletes. So pretty neat. And then at the very top here, uh, we wanna know, obviously it's really important what the, um, you know, what the conditions were, right? So 
what is the name of the athlete? What is the sport? What was the task? So was it a 10 meter run? Was it a 20 meter run? Was it 10 yards, 20 yards? Was it an acceleration? Was it a resisted run? Was it an assisted run? So on and so forth. What's the location? What the weather was like? What the surface is? What the shoes were? Uh, what the height of the athlete is? The weight of the athlete? The health, the health of the athlete? And then that specific cohort. And we've got a, a big group of different cohorts. So that's the, the upright report. Um, as it as it stands now today, as we uh, enter into the beta phase, and this is the acceleration report, which is slightly different because obviously during the upright running, we're hopefully going to see fairly consistent uh, metrics from step to step. Where in acceleration, we see very different metrics from step to step. So we're actually diving a little bit deeper into the step by step patterns, uh, you know, velocity, time, frequency, and length. Um, and then, you know, the same sort of things that we look up, up at, the ch at, the, at the top there, uh, 10 meters and or 20 meters time acceleration, uh, average velocity and peak velocity. And once again, what is the current uh, data? What's the average of the last three? What is the average all time? What is the best all time? Where does the athlete rank in the group, in the cohort and in the world? And these numbers are just made up. Don't, don't focus on these numbers. They don't mean anything. It's just some numbers that we just added in there just for display purposes. Um, but that's what it looks like. This would be what the, the downloadable PDF of the acceleration report looks like.